Okay, 20 questions. I didn't, I just wrote them down. I didn't have a chance to think about them very much. So, where do you live? I live in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, in the suburbs. My age, I am 42 years old. I will be 43 on June 24th. And June 29th will be um, my 23rd wedding anniversary to my hubby. So I guess that answers number four, marital status. I'm married 23 years. June 29th will be 23 years. Um, June 24th is my uh, 43rd birthday. I got married at, uh, five days after my 20th birthday. Um, and then two years later, I had my son, which is number three, children. I have two children. Um, Daryl is age 20. He'll be 21 October. And um, Matthew is 17. He'll be 18 in January. He'll be a senior this year. Um, my one son, my older son is in college, as is my second son. My younger son goes to high school and to college. Um, he, uh, um, being a teacher, I um, uh, stress education, I guess. And um, my kids have always been real strong in science and math. Um, so I think it's because I played Mozart music while they were little. Did you ever hear of the Mozart effect? Um, I did a paper on that in, in college, and um, I really believe that when children are young, if you play um, Mozart in the, in the background, um, it will help them. In fact, I have um, I play for my kindergartners, and it helps them. Um, they say the study done um, says that uh, it helps them with science and math. So I play it in the background when they're doing their work. But I played it when my kids were little, too. Um, who inspires me the most? Um, um, my husband. First came to my mind is Jesus. Because, I mean, I am a Catholic school teacher, and my faith is um, something really, really important to me. But um, living here on earth with me, my husband, my husband inspires me in ways you don't even know. He, um, even if he's in pain, he's never called, I mean, he's never called off a day of work. And then there's me, this baby whiny lady. <laughs> he takes care of all the time. Um, but he deals with his pain. Even if he's in pain, he does stuff. You know, like um, work around the house or painting or whatever, you know, needs to be done. He never complains. And um, he's never called off. That's how we won that trip to Atlantic City. Um, he never called off a day of work, and um, they uh, awarded him for that. So, yeah, my husband inspires me. Hi, honey. I love you, Daryl. Um, one place I'd like to go that I've never been. I would love to go to Hawaii. I would love to walk through a volcano. Um, they have volcanoes there where you can walk through. Um, I believe it was Michelle Ritchie. Um, she's a weight loss uh, surgery um, post-op person. And um, she has a book called, um, it's not over until, wait, I can't remember. Fat Lady Sings or, I, I can't remember. I, it's one of my favorite books, but right now I'm on the spot. I can't remember the name of it. Something I wish I could do that I never did before. Believe it or not, I wish that I could jog. Um, even when I was younger, um, I could never jog because I always had a big chest. I'm sorry, guys. I don't mean to embarrass you guys. Um, boys, um, Tom, and all the rest of you. Um, but even when I was in high school, it was embarrassing because I always had a big chest. And when I would jog, I was afraid I would hurt somebody. <laughs> um, even when I lost weight all the other times, I had lost 100 pounds, and um, I've always had a big chest. So, um, yeah, I wish I could jog. Um, my favorite food, well, look at me. <laughs> Every food is my favorite food. Um, my favorite food, I would have to say, my favorite food would be like roast beef with um, baby carrots and potatoes in the crock pot. 
I just, I don't know. It's just something I've always liked, so. Favorite drink? Well, I used to be a Diet Pepsi fanatic, but now you're not allowed to have carbonated drinks and you're not allowed to have caffeine. So I actually was a popaholic. I could drink pop till the cows came home. And now I drink a lot of water. Water is my favorite drink. I've always loved water, but pop used to get in there too, so I love water. It's, it doesn't even have to be flavored water. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do after surgery when you can't really drink, because I, I would much rather drink water than to have something to eat. But I mean, I do get hungry, but I just love water. Um, they laugh, the first grade teacher laughs at me because every day, um, since I've started working here six years ago, I always come in with a big bag of water. I have like six 20 ounce um, Walmart waters and I have Fruit 2 water. I have like every kind of water and I do, I drink it all day. I have a big Weight Watcher mug I drink from it. So I love water. My favorite exercise, my favorite exercise is walking. I love walking around um, my neighborhood and I love like um, there's a real big hill that goes from my neighborhood into the next county uh, and yeah the next county and um, um, I walk all the way up there and the hill is the hills in Pennsylvania are something they, they I have muscles in my legs like you never seen but um, I love walking but then my husband bought me my elliptical machine I love my elliptical as well I mean that thing will give you a workout so um, it's a real expensive machine. But I love walking and I love my elliptical. Number 11 for Deb's contest. Um, my favorite season. Well, my favorite season has to be summer because <laughs> there's no school. No, um, I like summer because I, I um, spring and summer, I guess. Because um, in the spring I can plant my flowers and in the summer I just watch them grow. Um, I mean, I don't know if you remember my other video of my classroom. I had flowers all over that table, and um, they take them all. I take them all home, and I put them on my patio, and then I bring them back. But I, I repot them every year, and um, I just I really love my flowers. In fact, my flowers in the classroom tend to grow more when they're in the classroom than when they're at home. I think they like the laughter and the sound of the children. I don't.